one of my fondest memories of uh, the arangetram practice is uh, going to class at around 4:30 when ma'am would have just woken up from her afternoon nap and muthulakshmi her help would have made some tea so ma'am will sit with that tea and start choreographing sipping at it once in a while the smell of the tea and that image of ma'am sipping on the tea and us practicing for the arangetram has become a very very fond memory So after a few years of learning, uh, ma'am spoke to my uh, mother about uh, our arangetram. So it was in 1997, and uh, my mother had just constructed the house. So she was short of funds for the arangetram. She asked how much will it cost and all, and then she said when she heard about the music and the hall charges, etc., it was. And we were three of us: my brother, sister, and I. So three sets of costumes, three sets of jewelry. Everything was. Uh, you know into 3 compared to an arangetram so um she said it would be difficult um ma'am immediately said oh doesn't matter mithun will earn for his arangetram mithun you start teaching that's how i started teaching in 1998 i was just 16 but my arangetram was a reason for me to start teaching so that i could generate funds for my arangetram that's how i started off one by one she was experimenting with one item after the other what would suit us what would look good what would Uh, so to each one of us she was very passionate about teaching us man to some of the best items we learned um, i think almost everything we learned two times so jati suram was to my individual item i had learned two before she finally chose what she actually wanted to present that's how it all started off finally the day arrived the day of the arangetram anybody who who has done an arangetram knows how that would be I remember we didn't have anything called a stage rehearsal at that time and the arangetram day was the first time I saw Guru Nanak Bhavan and uh, just while we entered we saw the makeup artist um, Indrana sir had come and uh, immediately he started the makeup and everything and as the moments inched closer there was so much of tension there were many of them from our class and friends and family coming into the green room to wish us all our best all that was happening and then the moment of truth uh ma'am came before that ma'am came and she wished us and we saw that she was wearing a sari which had three shades because me my brother and sister performed the arangetram together so ma'am had chosen a sari with three shades in it it was a very beautiful sari and uh, then janvi aunty the singer the musicians were all there they did a sound check and then finally it was time to go and stand in the wings and to enter we did the pushpanjali now ma'am had very intelligently chosen the item she always did that uh, you know it was everything was very custom made so there we did the mallari and so that the traditional entry so one was the you know one had the drums one had the uh, nadaswaram so like that uh, it was a nice entry and after that the ganesha stuti and i remember ma'am chose a tishra um, kati for that ganganapate namo namo shankar vitanaya namo namo ganganapate namo namo After that, the Jati Suram, the Hamsana the Jati Suram. I remember before Hamsana the Jati Suram, she taught us the entire Todi Jati Suram. Tari Jam, Rita Jam. It was a very tough choreography, and we had practiced it like crazy. And then suddenly, she had planned the Varnam after she taught us the Jati Suram, and the Varnam was also in Todi. So we had to quickly learn the Hamsana the Jati Suram. so that also she made it really really complicated and then the varnam this varnam was uh, written specially for us uh, by kamishuran master in todi so when janvanti took that raga itself the mood was amazing the var- the entire varnam had uh, the full ramayana many many instances from the ramayana depicted in it sita 
The swarams had all patterns of three, so that me, my brother, my sister, all of us got a chance to do something. And the choreography also, whether it was a jump or whether it's a muktayam, everything had circles of three in it. It was a very interesting thought. I I can imagine how much of thought my teacher put into uh, for that choreography. <laughs> Arangetram is one of the best learning opportunities. I remember in the Varnam, uh, so we had all three three actions. So my brother would do this, then I would do this, then my sister would do this. Suddenly, when we finished, we did the Aridi. My sister just conveniently exit the stage, and so my brother did one, and then there was one, and then in my sister's place again, I had to do. So. We had to adjust like that for some time, and suddenly she realized that, oops, I just went out by mistake. She very calmly walked in and then continued with the swaram towards the left hand side. That's a very nice memory. The presence of mind that we get, uh, you know, is that's so integral to performing on stage. Um, we learnt in the Arangetram. <laughs> memories that helped us and nurtured us into artists these kind of memories of how to carry on how to adjust how to change and adapt to the stage all this we learned from our arangetra we had after the varnam we had uh, three individual items so the first one uh, my brother performed a devarnama then my sister performed a javali and then was my chance to do a padam so initially i was taught a narasimha padam in kannada narasimha nimbo devana nambidanta so man took a lot of effort to teach me that item and she used to correct it often and she got frustrated but i learned it and practiced it and practiced it and she was finally satisfied with it just few days before the arangetram man said no i don't think i want you to do that item i'm to going to teach you something else and out of the blue she taught me aadi konda anda vedikai oh my god you can't even imagine the stress i was because i had practiced that narasimha item so much to finally get her approval and here she was with a brand new item for uh, the padam <laughs> Our Tilana was on uh, Devi Adi Parashakti. Ma'am was a great devotee of Devi. Every evening when she lighted the lamp, she used to sing this song: Arul me gum Devi, anne bala tirupura sundari sharanam. So this this song has just keeps ringing in my ears every time and in her voice because she was such a great devotee till her last breath. She was a great devotee of Adi Parashakti. So she had chosen this beautiful tilana written by uh, Shrimati Dwaraki Krishna Swami, a very very senior uh, lyricist musician of Karnataka, and uh, Om Parashakti Swarupini Taika Yetaal Mela. 
So it had beautiful aspects of uh, Devi Adi Parashakti as as the you know the one who gives us this beautiful art form, who blesses artists. So she brought in so the passion with which she taught us, and she gave us an element of herself in the Tarangi drum. So I carry that with me even today. A great element of a big part of her is still within me through the Tarangi drum. It would be a cliche to say that you know the Arangetram is my most memorable day because for all of us dancers, the Arangetram is a very very special day and yes, it's so obvious. But what I value my Arangetram for is what my mother went through to present that Ranga Pravesha. We were three children. She had just worked on uh, the construction of the house and there was very little money and three sets of costumes and at that time to stitch a costume you had to go so far away nothing was easily available now everything is at a click but those days we had to actually go and do things and she was a government servant she wasn't very sure of the you know dance field as such so and inviting was also very funny. Me and my sister on a TVS, we went with invitations all over. We had printed 1000 invitations. We had so many excess invitations. So what we did it, we went all over the neighborhood and just put invitations in all of their letter boxes. So, so many beautiful memories are attached to the Ranga Pravesham. And so much of learning went into it. We created bonds with our guru, with our parents and uh, with the audience who came that day, everybody is special. So, the Aringetram will forever be, it's like the birthday, it's a day that you will always remember uh, as like a birth of a dancer, it's so special.